Welcome back. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. How are you doing? Where are you tuned in from this morning? Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. And it's just going to cost you one shilling to be a part of the conversation. And for this particular conversation, you need to send in your questions because even I have questions. Many, many questions. So question, my first question to you. Hmm. Do, have you ever imagined that maybe, perhaps, one day, your lawyer might be a robot? Huh? Okay, yeah, I don't know, I, I don't see it, but that is definitely where the world is going with the technology now. And having this very interesting conversation with us this morning is Haman Singh. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Mikali. You know, this, when I saw this conversation is what we're going to ha be having today, I was just like, imagining, will they be, objection, your honor, <laughs> what, <laughs> what will happen? What will happen in that? But before we get into that, probably introduce yourself to the people let us know what it is that you do before we get into the topic of today okay um yeah so my name is Harmon Grewal um I'm a graduate from Strathmore University I graduated with a law degree very obsessed with law right I'm so obsessed with law that I've created a platform in regards to law I'm driven to educate Kenyans about the law also teach law at a school um so Law and education in Kenyans is something I'm very driven to do, and mm. that's why I created this project. Great. Yeah. So when you talk about this project, what he's talking about is an artificial intelligence lawyer kind of thing. Is this the very first time you're having such a conversation in this country where there's an uh, uh, AI when it comes to when it comes to you know matters law? Well, in regards to law, I think it is the yeah. first in Kenya, if mm. not Africa as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've seen there's been attempts for AI in Kenya, and I think Safaricom's mm. launched one recently. Um, so it's, it's a new evolving project in Africa. It's been in other countries, and I'm very excited to bring it to Kenya now. Okay. Um, please, please let us, what is the inspiration behind it? Apart from educating and, you know, letting people know what matters law and to be just in the know mm -hmm. as a kawaida mwananchi mm -hmm. why did the why did you feel the need to take it to this direction okay well i feel that they say ignorance not a defense right no it's not but ignorance seems to be the common <laughs> position <laughs> for a lot of people right <laughs> and the consequence of that is um, you get har harassed by the police very often that is true and if you're equipped with knowledge that wouldn't happen, right? Oh, and you could, they will be like, Kuna jiona kimbele mbele sana. You think you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then it's important for us to know. Yeah, so yeah. if you're equipped with the knowledge, you know, they say, mm. so you're fully protected with knowledge, it empowers you, it saves you from harassment. I've been the victim of police brutality, and if I had the know how of how to respond in that situation, knowing yeah. that they're not allowed to beat me, I know I have the right to report it, I know I have these avenues for justice then I, I think that such situations could be avoided. So okay. such a project also save a lot of Kenyans from police harassment. Um, it brings in like, you know, access to justice, basically. Mm. How are you going to find justice if you don't even know where to go, mm. right? Yeah. Okay. So how does this work then mm -hmm. with the artificial intelligence? Okay, so how does it work? I wanted to do a demo today, okay. but... Uh, can, can, can I try? Can, yeah. can I be your muse? <laughs> yeah, so okay. I can Great. just uh, put in the address for you. Okay, right. here you go. So what are, what, what are people typing in if they're doing it at home? Right, so you just go to my domain. Yes. It's kenyanlaw.com. Kenyanlaw.com. Right. Uh -huh. And it's basically like a huge database of legal services, information, and resources. Okay. Right, so all that we'll go into in a bit, mm -hmm. but we can start off with the AI part. Okay. Right, so we're creating like a very efficient AI lawyer, very easy to use, mm -hmm. and... Um, well, there's so many features also. <laughs> <Talk about it. laughs> right. Right. So uh -huh. I don't know if I can show. Will, will the screen be able to? Mm -hmm. You can just click it. Okay. So I click it like yeah. that. Yeah. Hello. Oh. My name is Nadia. Here at Kenyan Law, we are creating the largest database of legal services. So this. The, resources that's the bot. Yeah. Oh. Why do you need to read complex 50-page documents? Okay. 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 Now that we've seen. Yeah. What that looks like. Mm -hmm. So you, what, what happens then? So I've seen this. Right. So you mm -hmm. have three options to respond, right? Okay. So her name is Nadia. She's a good friend of mine. Okay. Not real. But anyway, <laughs> so you can ask her a question in through text, uh -huh. through audio or mm -hmm. video. 
And the best part about this is even if you're illiterate, you can converse with a lawyer. You don't have to type. You don't have to type, right? So even if you don't speak like Kiswahili or English or you mm. speak maybe like Gujarati or Giriyama, you can just send in the, your question. It comes to our database. Our database kind of recognizes what your query is about, where you're located, and then either it will give you the information you need. So let's say you're involved in a hit and run. Okay. Right? Uh, I'm sure you probably don't know what to do in that situation, right? So I'm like, okay, what do I do? So can right. I ask? Yeah, so you just ask her. I ask her. We're going to ask her. Can you, can you try? Yeah, but we'll take a few minutes to respond to, right? Okay. So you just ask her the question. Mm -hmm. You can ask through video. So I do the video? Yeah, you can click video. Okay. So we are on the yeah, video. Yeah, so it's requesting permission, and you can just grant it. Okay. Yeah, you just allow. Allow. And then while using the app, while using the app. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There yeah, we go. So you hit record. Mm -hmm. So do I have to face it? Yeah. No. Okay, cool. You just face it. And then record. Yeah, so it gives you a few seconds to prepare. Get ready, get ready. It says get ready, get no. ready. Still getting ready. Yeah. Okay, we're no, good to go. You can record now. What do I do in the case of a hit and run? So I've just been hit. Oh, my God. Okay, that was a bit dramatic. <laughs> yeah, so you just send it in. Okay. Then you put in your contact details and then... Ready to send... Yeah, so you can preview it as well. So if you wanna, if you wanna doll yourself up or something before you send it in. What do I do in the case of a heat and run? I've just been heat. Oh my god. Okay. I can be dramatic. <laughs> you okay, can great. be dramatic. So, if you like, yeah. Ready to send? Yes. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So that's that's that. Yeah. So now okay. you just put in your contact details, and then my team will get back to you in a few minutes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and my emails. So that's really fast. My number is... Yeah, so you can fill that in later, but mm -hmm. that's basically how it works. Mm -hmm. And um, super happy with the project, right? So we tested it out. We showed like we showed different level levels of income, how the project works. So we started this project in Melindi. We started it with a... I was working for a charity at the beginning of the year. It's called We Make Impact. Mm -hmm. And we realized that one of the reasons that poverty does exist in most countries is because of lack of education. Yeah. Right, so not only do we educate people on entrepreneurship, we realize that there's a huge gap in knowing your rights, right? Know mm -hmm. Knowing opportunities as well. Yeah. So we focus on kind of like giving out information as easily as possible. Yes. Right. So we spoke to people who are in villages who even live in huts, <laughs> and I went into the huts and uh, I was like, "Hey guys," in my very broken Swahili, I was like, <laughs> "Do you, do you guys know that you can talk to a robot?" And they were kind of like apprehensive. So I was yeah. just like, this is, okay, it's an actual person. Just talk to it and ask you a question. So they asked a question and we set it up for them. We did a trial run. So they asked, um, I, you know, like most of them, they need IDs like replaced and they use fingerprints because they, they're not literate. So they don't have to sign. Yes. Right? So it's the best way to test this project for low income. So we told them, uh, ask a question. They asked, how do I get a new ID? How do I get an affidavit? Right. Ah. And then it came through to our system. And they got the response in their in their native language, huh? Right, and they were Nadia like, can speak that. Yeah, so it's <laughs> not that hard. We just program it, and uh, what we're okay. trying to do right now is get in as many questions as possible. Yes, and that's how we generate responses. Okay. Right. Okay. So we're currently in the stage where we're collecting as many questions as possible, so we know that okay, fine. If this question comes in, we'll say we don't have an answer right now. Mm -hmm. We'll just collaborate with the team. We'll generate the answer, and then. Whenever that question comes in in the future, mm. the answer is already there. Mm. So now it just automates the process. So the more questions coming in, the more answers there are in the system. Okay. So within a year, even if you're asking, like, I'm sure like government processes are yes. very hating, right? How do I get a title deed? Right. How do I find out that this land is legit? Yeah. There's so many questions that people have, and sometimes even the process of going to find a lawyer in, you know, a physical, you know, place yeah. office, mm. then this cuts all of that sort of like helps until to a point where you actually need to go somewhere but if you have you know top of the mind kind of question and you don't know what to do yeah. then it comes in handy yeah so basically even like what we're trying to do is not only just educate citizens citizens on law mm. also government services like there are a lot of mm. government websites they don't respond to your questions, right? Yeah. Even the, the helplines. Yes, nobody they, picks they, up. They don't work, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to remove that whole frustration process in Kenya where mm. you can just ask, my passport's expired, what's the process? Like you don't have to go and Google it and read like 70 page documents. You can just ask Nadia, Nadia responds immediately and then you're off. And then I think a really cool feature that we have as well is, so not only are we giving you legal information, we're, connect yes. we're connecting you to legal services, right? Uh -huh. So as you said that, you don't know where to go like where to find a lawyer so we have we have an auto directory system Ooh. so how that works is let's say that 
you ask questions saying, let's say you have a problem with your house help, right? For wrongful termination, she's suing you. Yes. So you'll ask Nadia and say, Nadia, I'm having a problem with my house help. She's suing me for wrongful termination. Do you know a small size law firm that specializes in employment law within my area? And then you say the area you live in. And Nadia will just respond within five seconds saying, oh, you've got these law firms. Here are their profiles. Pick which one you like. What? Yeah. This has cut so many processes that people had to go through. How long has this been up and running? All right. So it's taken us about five months to develop the project. It's pretty much done now, right? So right now we're just in the stage where we're trying to understand what are questions that Kenyans mm. have and then we just put in the answers because we have so many lawyers on our database. Yeah. We can just collaborate with them because even personally, I don't know regulation, especially in regards to criminal law. Mm. So I can just ask a lawyer who's a specialist. And it's like, oh, we've got this question coming in. Do you want to answer it? Do you want to write an article on this and we can feature it on our article database? Okay. So we also have an article database where if you want to, like drone regulation in Kenya is pretty complex, yes. right? <laughs> yes. What's happening with that? Do we have a proper direction? One day it's okay, then you'll see some other things happening, then yeah. you don't know. All right, so I think that, that's a very easy example I can give about yes. how we're trying to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish is there's like three acts on drones, right? <laughs> and they're not even known as drones, they're known as aircraft carriers, something like yes. a very long title. Yes. So if you're a layman, you don't understand law, mm. how are you going to reach like 140 pages of mm. very complex no. directions, right? So what we do is we take those many articles, we summarize it into a three-pager, and we say, oh, this is the law on drones. Do you want a specialist to easily direct you? And then we just plug in the specialist. Mm. So it's just like information and then the service provider. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Question, and probably this is, this is away from everything else. Why the name Nadia? Why the name Nadia? <laughs> I don't know. It's like, <laughs> it is a cool name, right? Well, yeah. so <laughs> it is a cool name. But there's so many of the cool names. Why, why did we go for this word? I like it. Mm -hmm. I do. I really do. Yeah, I think like whenever you're coming up f with a name for a project, you want a name that's like very easy to pronounce, very easy to remember. So even when we were deciding on the name for Nadia, we wrote down like a thousand names. Like, and we're like oh, will guys be able to pronounce this? Will guys yeah. be able to remember this? And Nadia was one of the easiest ones. I mean, okay. we decided with Nadia. Nadia yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. Nadia is fantastic. So they, they, they said, thank you for submitting me and my team are analyzing your question. We'll get back to you soon. Yeah. So I am still waiting for that to come back to me. If it does before the end of the show, I'll definitely let you know how this goes. Uh, thank you so much for coming through, Herman. And please let us know again where we can find this information. And uh, if people want to get directly in touch with you, how can they do that? Okay. Yeah. So you can just log on to our domain. It's kenyanlaw.com. There's a government one that's different. That's kenyalaw.org. Yes. That's the government website. Ours is kenyanlaw.com. Uh, you can just click on legal resources for free contracts, free legal guides. And then you can just send us a message at info at kenyanlaw.com if you're looking for guidance on any legal issue. And then our team will just respond to you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for this. Yeah. Uh, not just for us, but for the world as well. <laughs> and for Africa at large. Mm. Asante sana. We're going to take a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. This is Full Circle with Mukali.